Hey, Facebook Live, Dr. Serrano here, chiropractor and doctor of natural medicine. Today, we're talking about omega th omega 3s. And the biggest thing is, we need to stop guessing, and we also need to stop wasting money on things that aren't working for us. So, let me let me let me explain. Before I get to omega 3s, supplementation in general. What happens with supplementation is that we'll read a post on Facebook or, or we'll see a one-liner somewhere and we'll say well, gee, that sounds like me. Let, me. let me start taking this supplement, right? Whether it's omega-3s, vitamin D3, B vitamins, whatever it is. And you start taking it, and th there's a few things that I see that we do wrong constantly out there. Number one is that we don't get high-quality supplements. So if you're not getting high-quality supplements, you're really just wasting your time, your money, and you're probably causing some toxicity because supplements that have low quality are typically toxic to our bodies. So. That's number one. Second thing I see is that we start to take these supplements and we have no clue what's happening really at underneath the surface, why we're really taking them. So we don't really last. We just take them for a little bit. We think it's like a medication. I'm going to take this supplement today and then I'm going to, tomorrow I'll, I'll maybe hopefully feel the effects. Supplementation typically doesn't work that way. The way supplements work, uh, I'm going to explain here with omega-3s but you have to understand what happens in the body physiologically at the anatomical level, at the physiological level, so that you actually get the results that you want from your supplementation. So, when it comes to omega-3s, we all understand they're good. We, doctors are, all the doctors are prescribing these, they're telling you to take these. The, the, the big question is why? And here, here's, the, here's the, the, the answer to that. Omega-3s are essential. They're essential fatty acids. This means you don't get omega-3s from your diet. I mean, excuse me, your body doesn't make these. You have to get them from your diet. So, because you have to get them from your diet, that's why doctors are saying to supplement with these. Because our diets nowadays are very deficient on omega 3s. And to understand omega 3s, you actually have to understand omega 6s. So, I'm going to share with you the difference here. Omega 6s in the red here are highly inflammatory. So they're going to increase inflammation in your body. Omega-3s, on the other hand, are anti-inflammatories. They're going to decrease inflammation in our bodies. So a typical cell, every single, these are two cells in your body, every single cell in your body has this outer membrane. That outer, outer membrane, that's made up of these essential fatty acids. These fatty acids come together and that's what makes up every cell in your body. So a natural ratio in your body, the, 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 the ratio that's optimal in your body for omega-3 to omega-6s is, is 4 to 1 to 1 to 1 ratio. So you should have 4 6s or 1 6 to 1 omega-3. So this keeps that balance of inflammatory and anti-inflammatory response in the body. So a regular cell should look something like this. You have all these omega-3s, the good ones, right? And then you have all these omega-6s. So every cell in your body goes through a process called apoptosis. That's when the cells, they break down and your body breaks those down because they die and then they build new cells. So if this cell breaks down in your body, when this cell breaks down, as it's breaking down, it has exactly what it needs to cause a little bit of inflammation and a little bit of anti-inflammatory properties so that your body stays in balance. Here's the issue. Do you think the typical American has a 4 to 1 ratio or even better, a 1 to 1 ratio of omega-6 to omega-3? I think you guys know the answer out there. No. We are so off balance. I, I wish I was in front of you guys right now or, and, and, and I can ask you guys. What do you think the typical ratio is in the typical American diet? Typically, on average, we are at a 20 to 1 ratio. This means most of the cells in your body look something like this. Inflammatory, 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 omega-6s. And then you have one little omega-3 to, 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 to cancel out that, that inflammation. So think of what's happening in your body. If this cell breaks down in your body, do you think you're gonna have a very good response? No, what's gonna happen is you're gonna cause all of this inflammatory, all this inflammatory response, 
And now this chronic inflammatory state in your body is what causes these lifestyle diseases that we're seeing nowadays. Things like cancers, diabetes, um, I mean, it, 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 IBS, Crohn's disease, I mean all these inflammatory diseases that we're seeing, it's from chronic inflammation in our bodies. So what, what do we do with this stuff? What do we do with this information? It's not enough to go out and just buy omega-3s. Because first of all, you have to get omega-3s that are good quality. Most of the stuff that's on the shelf out there is they're just they're just bad supplements. They sit on the shelf forever, they come from bad sources, so you're literally putting toxic, toxins and rancid omega-3s into your body, which, are, which, which don't do you any good. They actually cause more inflammation. So that's the first thing, you have to get a good quality supplement. Second to that is, how do you know where you are in this? So this is why I said in the little intro, you have to stop guessing. What you wanna do is you wanna test. And you know one of the things that we run here in the office, it's a very simple test, it's, like a, it's a pinprick, almost like a diabetic test, you know how you do the, the pinprick, you put on the little machine and, and then you have a glucose readout. Well, something similar to that, and this is something that your doctor could do for you, you ask for fatty acid pa uh, panel. You wanna know what this ratio is. Once you know this ratio, now what you can do is you can look at your results and say, wow, I'm out of balance, I need to take a lot of omega-3s. And then you have a specific amount that you take. Not just this generalized take one to three grams for everybody, because you're gonna be different than I'm gonna be, than somebody else is gonna be. Everybody's different, so you have to stop guessing and start testing these things out. So, what if you get the test back and you're in this perfect range here? Then guess what? I would tell you not to supplement with omega-3s. Your, your nutrition plan and the diet that you're, the lifestyle you're living is keeping you in good balance. So, that's omega-3s in a nutshell. Get tested, stop wasting, stop uh, guessing, stop wasting your money, and um, just uh, we'll be here again next week with another episode.